Now, let's get into the whole sort of the mechanics of it all, and it's basically pounds per pip. So imagine you go to your local betting shop, I think we all know that's Ladbrokes, um, and you, you look at a chart, and let's say you're looking at um, pound dollar, okay? And the price is roughly, you know, 1.5600. Now, the way that we trade, it's called financial spread betting, and it's beautiful, because you, you don't really need to put that much capital up front. Basically, you, and you, you can make money going up and down. So you look at this, and you want to go long at one pound a pip. So what this means, going long, effectively means buy, but just keep things simple. It means you think it's going to go up. And so for every pip the market goes up, you make a pound, yeah? So if it does go up, and it's now at 56.50, how many pips has it gone up? 50, yeah. So guess what? You've just made 50 pounds. Simple, yeah? And that, yeah, simple is good uh, with trading. And it's tax-free. The UK is the only country on the planet which has tax-free trading. And it has been since 1974. And the world's richest and best traders get dual citizenship with the UK just to utilize this tax-free loophole. Every penny I make, tax-free. The tax man can't touch me. Um, so, yes? Nope, zero tax. The tax man get their slice because the brokers are taxed heavily. But the way the broker, we, we still effectively get taxed because guess what, we have the spread. Every trade we place, roughly two pips spread, that's our tax. But every profit I make is tax-free. It's absolutely beautiful. Now, this is why buying stocks and shares is so 1990s. Honestly, if you're still doing it, please stop. Um, because you, you've got stamp duty, you've got capital gains tax, you've got commissions, you've got spreads, you've got everything, and you can only make money when the market goes up. Gone are the days where stocks just go up. I mean, at the moment, we were on the... We were, going through the Trump bump, but the, we are in for a bit of a storm very soon. And the thing is, you can't make money when stocks go down. You, at best, you can sort of step aside and go, Woof, watch that train go. But with the way that we trade, we can go, oh, this looks overextended right now. I think it's going to fall over. Um, it could be stocks, commodities, Bitcoin, whatever you want. And you can basically go short at one pound a pip. Now, going short means you basically think it's going to go down. Now, when I didn't understand trading, I had to come up with a weird analogy, so I thought, Okay, I'm just taking my shorts down like that. So, um, so yeah, you're shorting at one pound a pip. Now, the market has dropped, what, 100 pips? So you've just made how much? 100 quid, tax-free. That's why this way of trading is beautiful. Um, so, and yeah, this is, I mean, Apple was an interesting one because back in 2012, the iPhone 5 was about to be launched Apple just reached an all-time high of $706 a share, and I went on the radio and said, Apple's about to crash, 50%. I got hate mail. People actually sending me posts of, like, um, IFAs are sending me the, uh, Apple's balance sheets, um, saying, you're an idiot, you shouldn't be allowed to talk to the public. And I, I was going through hell with the amount of trolls for about three months. And then, guess what happened? It crashed. I didn't quite hit the 50%. It dropped 44%. However, we still made a truckload of money. Um, or, and some of my followers saved a lot of money. They didn't necessarily trade it, but they just got out of it and took their profits. Um, so yeah, Black Monday, Apple, like all these things, you can do it. And the, th and the thing is, there's a thing called a stop loss, which is basically your trading seatbelt. Because yeah, it's all very well going long at one pound a pip or 100 pounds a pip, and it goes in your favor, but if it goes against you, which will be most of the time, by the way, I'm not trying to sugarcoat this, you will be wrong and you'll lose more trades than anything. Um, you, you have to protect yourself. So what you could do is you could say, right, I'm going long at one pound a pip, but I only want to lose 50 quid. Um, in fact, in this case, you, if you're losing 50 quid, that's what, half a percent max risk. But the thing is, yeah, so what this means is if the market goes against you, hits your stop loss, your software boots you out of the market and you, you, you've lost only what you've risked, okay? You cannot lose your shirt. I, like, the way that we trade, you cannot lose more money than you put in your account. Whereas pretty much every other form of trading, you can lose your house. Um, and I know someone that has. However, when you get into a winning trade, this is where it gets beautiful. Because what you can then do is grab your mouse, click, hold, and drag. And you can move your stop loss to the point where you enter the trade, thereby making it a risk-free trade. Or if you're like me, I call it bagging a pip. I, use, I put it one pip in front, just for shits and giggles. Um, 
And then you wait, you let your winners run. Because all, all you need to do as a trader is get into as many positions as possible whereby the market could run and it's effectively a risk-free trade. So eventually the market will run off in your favor. What do you then do? Sell. Yeah, no, no, you don't. You trail it. True. Yeah, you trail your stop. You basically, you, you basically keep moving your stop up and you're just stalking the market. You're like, okay, as you keep going, I'm just gonna move the seatbelt up. And then eventually, so this takes all the thinking out of trading, because people go, oh, market's gone up, do I get out, do I buy more or whatever? No, no. You do zero thinking when you're in a trade. Zero thinking, because when you think you will lose money, I promise you, you just gotta sit on your hands and be mechanical. So I just basically follow the market up, and eventually you'll get a pullback or a reversal of some sort like this, and then you're out of the trade, okay? No emotions, etc. And what's happened is you've just basically locked in all of the profit from here to here. So in this case, it's gone up 50 pips. You've locked in 50 pips, so you've made 50 quid automatically. Um, so that, that's why trading is awesome.